In this video, I will show you how to reduce a circuit to a Thevenin equivalent circuit using test source method. Draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit across A B terminals. This is A terminal and this is B terminal. Within A B terminals, we have this network. So if we reduce this network to a Thevenin equivalent circuit, we will get a voltage source VTH, which should be in series with a resistance RTH. Now look at this circuit, we have this dependent source of 10IX. We have this resistor 70 ohm, this resistor 60 ohm. This circuit does not contain any independent voltage source or current source. When the circuit contains only dependent sources and resistors. The Thevenin equivalent circuit of the network will not be this circuit. Rather, the Thevenin equivalent circuit of the given network will be a single resistor RTH that will be connected between A and B terminals. And this will be the Thevenin equivalent circuit. There will not be any voltage or current source involved in the equivalent circuit. Now look at the circuit. There is no current source or voltage source. According to the law of energy conservation, since there is no external power supplied in the circuit, there should not be any voltage drop or current flow in the network. Therefore, this current Ix should be equal to zero. As Ix will be equal to zero, open circuit voltage Vth will be the voltage across this A B terminals. VTH which should be equal to I X into 60 it will also be equal to 0. Now see if I connect this A B path with a short path the short circuit current will be Norton current I N. As there is no external power supply if I connect this terminal to this terminal there will not be any current flow in the network. Therefore, the short circuit current I n should also be equal to zero. Now to calculate the Thevenin resistance of any network, we use this formula RTH equal to open circuit voltage VTH over short circuit current I n. Here VTH is zero. I n is also zero. Therefore, RTH should be undefined. Or we cannot calculate RTH using VTH over IN formula. Therefore, we will use a new method which is known as test source method to calculate the Thevenin resistance in the network. We will solve this circuit for calculating RTH and RTH will be the voltage across this AB terminal to the current through that path and I told you that I will use test source method. Why this is called test source method? See to solve this circuit we can connect a 1 volt test voltage source across this AB terminal or we can connect a 1 ampere test current source across this AB terminals. After connecting the test source of 1 volt or 1 ampere we will calculate RTH by taking the ratio of voltage across this AB terminal to the current through that path which is RTH equal to VAB over IAB. To solve this circuit, I will connect a test current source of 1 ampere. When I connect a test current source of 1 ampere, that 1 ampere current will flow through this a B path. Therefore, in the circuit I A B will be equal to 1 ampere. Now see, we have to calculate voltage across this A and B terminal. I will use nodal analysis to calculate that voltage V A B. Now see, this will be our only node or this is our node 
a let's say this node will have a voltage of v1 and this will be our ground or reference node this node will have a voltage of v0 equal to 0 now see this is our current ix dependent current source ix and ix was the current that was flowing through the 60 ohm resistor so in this circuit ix should be equal to voltage across this 60 ohm is v1 over 60 ohm now see v1 will be exactly equal to the voltage across a and b terminal v a b will be equal to v1 now i will apply kcl at node a this current is unknown current this current is also unknown current this one ampere current is entering to the node a from this direction therefore i will get v1 minus 10 i x now see we have this minus sign here and plus sign here that means this will be v1 plus 10 i x over 70 plus v1 over 60 this will be equal to 1 ampere Here I will get 70 V1 over 70 into 60 plus V1 over 60 equal to 1. Now see I can rule out this 70 with this 70. So here I will get 2 V1 equal to 60 or V1 is equal to 30 volt and this v1 will be equal to v a b since i a b is equal to 1 ampere and v a b is equal to 30 volt here r t h will be equal to 30 volt over 1 ampere or rth will be equal to 30 ohm as the given network contains only dependent source and the resistors equivalent thevenin circuit will be this only resistor rth and i have calculated rth equal to 30 ohm using test source method this is the feminine circuit of the given network okay that's it thank you